Gentile or Jew, servant or free, woman or man, no more. One bread, one body, one Lord one cup of blessing which we bless and we though many throughout the earth we are one body in this one thought uh, Daniel might start with stormy weather after the last couple of days. I wasn't sure if we would have power or not, but I'm glad we do, and I'm glad you're here as we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Mindful of our sins, we ask the mercy of a loving God to be upon us. Lord Jesus, you are the giver of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the giver of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the giver of hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Jane Francis de Chantel radiant with outstanding merits in different walks of life, grant us through her intercession that walking faithfully in our vocation, we may constantly be examples of shining light through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know I am with you as I was with Moses. Now command the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant to come to a halt in the Jordan when you reach the edge of the waters. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that there is a living God in your midst, who at your approach will dispossess the Canaanites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of the whole earth will precede you into Jordan. When the soles of the feet of the priests carrying the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of the whole earth, touch the water of the Jordan, it will cease to flow. For the water flowing down from upstream will halt in a solid bank. The people struck their tents to cross the Jordan. When the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant ahead of them, no sooner had these priestly bearers of the Ark waded into the waters at the edge of the Jordan, which overflows all its banks, during the entire season of the harvest, then the waters flowing from upstream halted, backing up in a solid mass for a very great distance indeed. From Adam, a city in the direction of Zarethan, while those flowing downstream toward the salt sea of the Arabah disappeared entirely. Thus the people crossed over opposite Jericho. While all Israel crossed over on dry ground, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord remained motionless on dry ground in the bed of the Jordan until the whole nation had completed the passage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response this morning is Alleluia. 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 
with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you peter approached jesus and asked him lord if my brother sins against me how often must i forgive them forgive him as many as seven times jesus answered I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a large amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. 
His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless you, each of you, forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. I was working at the seminary in San Antonio, Texas when the Oklahoma City bombing occurred at the Federal Building. And like a vast majority of the nation was horrified with the images and the news over the next couple of days. But one of the most horrifying things for me was the litany of people that the commentators and broadcasters kept interviewing about how this was impacting their families who had lost loved ones because of this horrific event. And one after another just kept saying, I hope they find this person that did this or persons that did this and they're put to a miserable end. I understood their emotions, how raw, how deep they were. And then one day, one of the broadcasters was interviewing this older gentleman who had an entirely different response. He responded by saying, I hope when they find the person that did this, they do not choose to put him to death because that will rob me of the time I need to forgive him. For that is what my faith teaches me. It was one of those days I was so proud to be a Catholic because this older gentleman expressed the fact that he was Catholic and that his Catholic faith is what taught him about forgiveness. I'm not sure in that same emotional moment I could have given the same response. I pray I could, but I don't know. Nor do any of us until placed in that kind of moment. But my friends, one of the benchmarks of our faith tradition is our ability to be reconciled with one another and most importantly with our God. We have this most profound sacrament of reconciliation in which we are literally forgiven by our God of whatever we may have done that broke our relationship with him or with the church. Is it then asking so much of any one of us to do the same to others? This is what we're made of. This proves who we really are, our ability to seek healing in a shattered relationship. That does not mean that we stay in any kind of toxic relationship or abusive relationship. But what it does mean is we offer the same kind of forgiveness to those who might perpetrate harm toward us that our loving God offers us for perpetrating harm between the Creator and ourselves. 
We all have, I'm sure, in our lives, people we wish we could be at peace with. And we strive to do our best. It does take two to reach that most blessed moment of reconciliation. But that most blessed moment will never occur as the parable of the prodigal son teaches us unless we take that step of actively forgiving. So when the moment arrives, if not in this life, in the next, when the person approaches us seeking to be forgiven, we can tell them we already have and reconciliation can occur. That is the meaning of this parable today as well. For Jesus is telling us, we have been forgiven so much. How dare we think we can hold back such from forgiveness from another and think it will end well in our relationship with God? Mindful that the Lord hears us when we place before him our petitions, we now pray. For the church throughout the world, may she grow in unity, mercy, and holiness by God's power and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their creation of legislation protecting the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are alone, may God's merciful love enfold and encourage them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord inspire us in the use of our time, talent, and treasure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially those who have no one to pray for them, May they rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Lucy Weicker, for whom this Mass is offered today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and gracious God, we stand before you as humble servants of your word. Help us this day and always to be faithful to your ways through Christ our Lord. Make us one in spirit. Make us one in your spirit. Make us one till we run down. Make us one. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all servants of your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Confident in God's love, his mercy, and his presence among us, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Be saving no peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Be saved in no peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. darkness we were away without hope without light till from heaven you came running there was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets to a virgin came the word from a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in God's peace to love and serve the Lord as we love and serve one another. Thanks, Megan. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Promise keep light in the darkness. 